<laughs> you and Steven uh, were talking about you know getting more tempo in practice and that kind of thing. What are the plans now after the Arkansas games? Just more of the same, or are you guys gonna try to shake it up a little different? Uh, pretty much more the same. Uh, coach is uh, drawing back a little bit in practice, letting our legs up on us a little bit more, and going at it. Pretty much adding in uh, camp 15 weeks straight, so uh, they kind of we had a little short practice. And, uh, we had great tempo. We was flying around, having a lot of fun, and. Uh, as far as our spirits, it was good yesterday. Yeah. Looking forward to playing Florida this weekend. Mo, well, Coach Furrier said that starting uh, probably this weekend, he's going to be the principal play caller and be more involved with the offense when they come over to the um, sideline and be in the huddle every time. Well, what are, what are your thoughts on uh, you know on hearing that and uh, what effect do you think that will have on the offense? Actually, that's my first time hearing it. But, uh, you know, he's a great ball, ball coach and he's a great play caller. I mean, that's pretty much uh, one of his legacy, being able to call plays and adjust to defenses. So, uh, Def is going to help us, and uh, if that's the case, I'm looking forward to it. Mo, um, Coach Burr talked about how he's going to stay around for a few more years. And then he talked about how different the plan is from when he got here. Four years ago, how, how different is this team as far as what you guys are trying to accomplish? Um, I think now the team is going in the direction he really wanted to go for as the build up and the players and the leadership and I think the possibility for his team is very great and uh, you know it's credit to his recruiting class he's been bringing in, bringing guys in not only good football players but guys with character and uh, you know it's been, it been a few years now and I think it's really sticking on how he really wanted to go and how he wants his players not only perform on the field but outside the field and uh, I think he's definitely going the right right direction and then the possibilities for this team being great is uh, definitely definitely high. Mo, well, um, as an athlete I'm sure it's probably nothing worse than being embarrassed on the field to play. Are you are you angry at for last year's Florida game? Is that motivating you and your teammates to go out there Saturday and, and beat them after they put up a half a hundred last year? No, I'm not angry. I mean, uh, we, in that shoes, we was in their shoes. We did the same thing too. It's it's football. You got to line up and play in between the lines and go out there and hit someone. And when you get hit in the mouth like that, you should take it personal. I take. I, I mean, I do take it personal. When you when you get whooped that whooped, whooped that bad, you should take it personally and uh, just look for an opportunity to go play football. I mean, it's no one team coming in. I mean, everybody know that, know the opportunity that we have at hand. But as far as being angry, I'm not angry. I'm just ready to go play football and uh, stop this losing streak that we on. Mo, it seems the, uh, what, what the next year attitude is still prevailing. What do you think you guys can get beyond that? Okay. Wait till next year attitude seems to be still prevailing. What do you guys think you can get beyond that? Uh, I think we'll be beyond that now. I mean, we ain't out of the way to next year mentality this year. We, been this year. Some things haven't fallen out, fell our way, but for as our mindset, we ain't winning no game thinking that we're going to lose or that we could not win. So, uh, you know, it's just the nature of the game. SEC football, some, some things go your way, some things don't. But as far as our mindset, there ain't no way to next year thing. It's, we're going to finish this year strong and continue, continue to try to put W's on the board. No, no, Microphone. Yeah, Coach, you talked about how you guys uh, sorry if you may have already addressed this, but uh, have you sensed, uh, I know you've only had one practice uh, in a meeting, but have you sensed Coach Burr being more involved in play calling this week? Uh, like I said earlier, I was my first time hearing it uh, yesterday, and the meeting that we had yesterday was number five minutes because we was watching the film from last week game, and we had our report on Florida. By that time, it was about time to go out. It was kind of we some new things that we kind of had to put in for Monday's practice. So uh, I really haven't got that feel yet. Maybe with to the end of the day and further on to the week, that'll come more, uh, more relevant. And your reaction if he does do more of it? Uh, it's going to play football. You know, the players come in, we just got to execute. Uh, I mean, it's going to be fun. Uh, he definitely knows football. He definitely knows one of being one of the better adjusters to uh, defense. So, uh, just looking forward to doing it and have fun with it. But once again, just plays and plays, we got to execute. Well, I know you remember 
going down to Florida and almost knocking them off and they're number one at the time, I believe. But a lot of guys weren't around that are on the team right now. I do remember the, the tough losses you guys have had the last couple of years and the tough losses you guys have had recently. Do you have to do anything different this this week to get those guys to believe that they can win this Saturday? Uh, no, <laughs> I think that we all believe that we can win for, uh, Saturday, come three thirty. We we believe that we can win. Uh, you know, Florida's a great team. There's no no doubt in that. But uh, still got to go line up and play hit somebody in their mouth. I mean, no pressure on us. We just go out there and have fun. They don't want team. You know, got the SEC riding on the national championship hope. So uh, the pressure on them. So hopefully, we can continue applying it to them and have fun while we out there. Just play pressure free and just care for you and have fun. Mo, what was it like uh, yesterday hearing from that uh, veteran who spoke to you guys, and what do you what's it going to mean to you guys this weekend uh, wearing those uniforms to honor the military? Uh, it meant a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. It meant a lot. Uh, you know, hearing him speak, you know, it, it really it really makes you count your blessings. It shows you how infinitesimal that. The things we do here is competitive. I mean, they, they make an ultimate sacrifice when they life on the line day in and day out. I mean, you know, before we can play this game, you know, without them, we probably won't be able to line up Saturday against Florida at 3.30. And just to have the honor, you know, to show that appreciation to them. It's, it's so small, but it means so much to them. And it's definitely an honor for me as well as my teammates. And, uh, you know, when they told me about it, I, I kind of got excited. I got a lot of family members. In the military myself, so uh, showed us the tape yesterday, and uh, I don't think I could have watched another minute of it because it was just, you know, touching and how they, you know, things happen to them, they lose their limbs, eye, whatever, what have you, but they don't let that defeat them. They keep living life and uh, keep doing the things they do and find a new way to do it. And seeing that, it just inspire you and make you realize that what you have is a gift, so you need to use it, use it to best of your ability because you don't ever know it's going to be taken away from you. So it, it definitely was uh, motivating, touching, and uh, definitely see that's an honor to go play at Florida Wounded Warriors come Saturday.